The film All Divided Sales by Luke uh, Fowler, to me, is quite an extraordinary collection of uh, a myriad of, of uh, visual sources that uh, holds itself together in, in a very subtly structured way. It's not obvious wh wh when you watch it until it kind of sinks in as to how much work has gone in to, to, to layer it. So what he manages to do is uh, portray an image of my father and the development of his thought and the way that my father interacted with the establishment going back to the early 60s to the late 80s. And, and to me, it's, it's uh, quite an emotional experience to watch because it's, it's my father that I'm watching, but it, I, I think it's a great film. It came up in the question and answer session afterwards, the fact that uh, a lot of what uh, uh, my father's works were about were, weren't necessarily contained to the actual books that he wrote, The Divide Itself or Positive Experience Better Paradise, but the way he was as a person and the way he treated other people and what he was actually like to be in the presence of. And I think that uh, Luke manages to capture that through some very subtle vignettes and the way that he juxtaposes one vignette to the other. You do get uh, quite quite extraordinary insight into the sort of person that my father was. Th there were snippets in the film of, of one of his books called Knots, which is sort of a uh, ve ve very subtle, uh, very tight dialogue between sort of fictitious characters, Jack and Jill, uh, and very poetical in, in, in its own right. And so I think he would have been very pleasantly surprised that somebody with the sensitivity of Luke Fowler could view such an enormous range of materials and come up with something that's both coherent and poetical. One of the things that's different about my father is that he wasn't just a psychiatrist or psychoanalyst. He, ha he had a sort of musical side to me, enjoyed playing the, the piano, he wrote poetry, uh, he even did an LP. And, and so the, the, uh, the fact that there is a film of that type, not just a, a, what you might call a linear documentary, uh, to me is, is it's kind of reassuring that my father's legacy lives on, but, but, but lives on not just in, in the mainstream debate about psychiatry and, and, and what it's about or what schizophrenia is or what isn't, but just his involvement from, you know, 22 R. Beg Street, which was where he was born, where he lived, you know, for, for, for the first 20 years of his life. He went to Glasgow University, he trained at uh, Gart Naval, uh, that as time moves on, uh, he's recognised more and more, I think quite rightly, as being uh, a major cultural figure within Glasgow. And I think to that extent, it's, it's, it's great news all around for Glasgow and, and, and I think for my father's legacy.